What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. In today's video, we're going to be teaching you how to buy your first Bitcoin ordinal using the number one decentralized Bitcoin wallet called Xverse. Now, we're going to be sharing with you how to use Xverse to buy these Bitcoin ordinals on a secondary marketplace so you can buy and sell. But also, we're going to share with you how you can transfer your ordinals within the app of Xverse to a different wallet. This is a step-by-step -step guide, a very easy guide for you to understand. So if anybody's interested or is very new to the space of Bitcoin ordinals, this is the video you want to show them. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So what you're going to do is that you're going to click in the link below in the descriptions. It's going to take you to this website called Xverse.com app. You're going to download the extension browser and it's going to appear on the upper right hand side of your browser. Now I typically use Google Chrome. It's one of the best browsers to install Xverse and to me it has the greatest UX and UI experience. So once that's done you're going to go over to magiceden.io. This is an amazing website where you can buy Bitcoin runes and also Bitcoin ordinals. Now when you get over to this website make sure to select on collections then select Bitcoin. This will show you all the assets ordinals on top of Bitcoin. Now the ordinal collection that I'm going to focus on today are runestones. Now why am I focused on runestones? Now if you go over to CoinGecko and you look up the top NFT collections and you sort all these different NFT collections and also ordinals based on market cap, you'll see here when you scroll down that runestones is the second largest market cap within the Bitcoin ordinal space. And if you didn't know, when Runestones were launched within its first month, it made it to the second largest market cap across all blockchains. It was second behind CryptoPunks, which CryptoPunks is number one. So that's why I want to focus on Runestones to be our first purchase. So before we even get to buying our first Runestone, let's go and go over to connecting our Xverse wallet by selecting connect on the upper right hand side. Obviously, there are many different blockchains that you can select from, but you want to select on Bitcoin. Then scroll down and click on Xverse. It's going to ask if you're using a ledger. For this demonstration, we are not using a ledger. So we're going to go ahead and press connect. Then it's going to ask us to connect our wallet. We'll go ahead and select that option. Then it's going to ask us to sign this permission, which we will. Now, our wallet is connected with the amount of currency that's in our wallet. And as you can see here, we have enough funds to buy our first RuneStorm ordinal. And as a reminder, if you want to deposit your Bitcoin from a centralized exchange such as Coinbase, Kraken, Crypto.com, Binance, you're going to want to click on Receive because this is where you're going to deposit your Bitcoin using this Bitcoin address. Now that we have our Bitcoin deposited in our experts, now we're going to buy our first ordinal by selecting the runestone that we've chosen for this video. So now as you can see here, there's plenty of options, but I'm going to go to the one that is nearest closest to the floor. So I'm going to go ahead and select this option. I'm going to go down to the very bottom right and it's going to show the breakdown of what this is going to cost. And then Xverse will pop up showing us the amount that we're going to be paying and the transaction fee that we're going to be paying as well, which is $1.69. That's the network fee and the total amount cost for this specific ordinal. Then I'm going to click on confirm. Then it will say buying broadcast for one IAM. Keep in mind when it says buying broadcasted, this may take maybe around five minutes for this specific ordinal to show up in your wallet. Okay, now that we've purchased our first ordinal, which was a runestone, now we're going to go ahead and go over to our profile to list it for sale. And then we're going to learn how to transfer it from wallet to wallet with an Xverse. So let's focus on listing it for sale. So if we go over to profile, you can see here that this is the runestone ordinal. Now, once I find my runestone ordinal, I can go ahead and click it and decide, you know what, I'm going to list this for sale. So all I have to do is press on list. And then maybe I want to sell it on the floor for the actual floor price. So say for instance, instead of selling this for 0.008, maybe I want to sell it for 0.01. So that way it's 23% above the floor price and I would get more money if this thing ends up selling on the floor. And then you go ahead and select below list for that amount of money and then it will give you on Xverse the approved transaction and then you press confirm. And there you go. That's how you list your specific ordinal on the secondary marketplace using Xverse. Now we're going to learn how to transfer, say for instance, your Bitcoin ordinal from one wallet to another wallet with an Xverse. So the first thing that we want to do is find the receiving address of where we want to send our ordinal. So if we go over to Xverse, 
which I have my second wallet created, I will find that second wallet, which is account number two. So once I select that, this is what you're gonna wanna do. You wanna click on receive. The most important thing is that when you're transferring either runes, BRC20 tokens, and especially ordinals, you wanna focus on this tab right here. You do not wanna send your runes, BRC20s, or even your ordinals to the Bitcoin address. That's completely different. This is more of a cryptocurrency or just a currency in general, while these are actual different digital assets built on top of Bitcoin. So you're gonna to wanna to click on this specific one, copy that address. Now we're gonna go back into your original wallet, which was account number one. And if you want to find your ordinal in your Xverse wallet, you will scroll down here to the diamond shape. Once you click that, you're gonna scroll down to find out where your runestone ordinal is. Once you click on that, you're gonna click on it one more time, and it's gonna give you the option to send this ordinal to that other address. Click on send. Remember the address that we just copied? Well, we're gonna paste it here, and this is where we're gonna be sending this specific ordinal to. Now it's gonna ask us to click next, and it's gonna ask us to confirm of this transaction. And once we click on confirm, it will send this specific ordinal to that address. And that's exactly how you do it. It should arrive in your next wallet within five minutes to 10 minutes based on the Bitcoin network. So that's it, it's that easy. This is how you're able to buy your first Bitcoin ordinal using the number one decentralized Bitcoin wallet out there and that is Xverse. So I'll provide a link down in the descriptions below to download the Xverse app and also to go on a secondary marketplace to buy your first Bitcoin ordinal. So if you like this video, please share it with as many people as you can, especially people who are new to the space. And as always, be sure to smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls and trades regarding ordinals. Till then, see you guys girls next time.